Question 1. A client with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, is receiving oxygen therapy. What is the maximum flow rate of oxygen that should be administered? A. 2 to 3, L. A. Min B. 4 to 5, L. A. Min C. 6 to 8 to 7, L. A. Min D. 8 to 8 to 10, L. Min Answer. A. 2 to 3, L. Min Rationale. Clients with COPD typically require low-flow oxygen to prevent suppressing their drive to breathe, which is dependent on low oxygen levels rather than high carbon dioxide levels. Question 2. Which of the following breath sounds is most commonly associated with asthma? A. Crackles. B. Strider C. Wheezing D. Plural friction rub. Answer. A. C. Wheezing rationale. Wheezing is a high-pitched sound caused by air moving through narrowed airways and is commonly associated with asthma. Question 3. A nurse is caring for a client with pneumonia. Which clinical manifestation is most indicative of a serious complication? A. Fever. B. Productive cough. C. Pleuritic chest pain. D. Confusion. Answer A. D. Confusion. Rationale. Confusion in a client with pneumonia can indicate hypoxia, a serious complication that requires immediate intervention. Question 4. Which of the following interventions should a nurse implement first for a client experiencing acute respiratory distress? A. Administer prescribed bronchodilators. B. Place the client in a high Fowler's position. C. Administer oxygen. D. Notify the healthcare provider. Answer. A. C. Administer oxygen. Rationale. Administering oxygen is the priority action to ensure adequate oxygenation. Positioning and medications are also important, but come after ensuring the airway and breathing are supported. Question 5. Which diagnostic test is most definitive for diagnosing pulmonary embolism? A. Chest X-ray, EB. Ventilation perfusion, VQ scan, C. Spiral CT scan, ED. Arterial blood gas analysis. Answer. A. C. Spiral CT scan. Rationale. A spiral. Helical CT scan is the most definitive test for diagnosing a pulmonary embolism due to its high sensitivity and specificity.